Phil Russo on NAFA's plans to become much more proactive in Washington in 2013. Advocacy is one of NAFA's major roles. It's one of our strengths. It's one of the things that only NAFA can do. There's not another organization out there that can represent fleet managers and fleet management in the capacity that NAFA does. It's something we've been doing for over 35 years. We've had a legislative council in Washington, D.C., Pat O'Connor, since the early 80s, and he is just terrific. Based on his knowledge, based on his level of acceptance in Washington, because it's about who you know in Washington, and it's about what you can get done. Pat knows everyone. Pat can get everything done in Washington. We need to leverage that more. We need to leverage the fact that NAFA represents over 2,000 fleet managers and millions of vehicles, and the clout that that brings needs to be leveraged more. Not to say that we haven't had success in the past, but we haven't really done our best to leverage that. We haven't done our best to be proactive in advocating for fleet managers and for fleet management. So instead of sitting back and reacting to proposed legislation and proposed new laws, NAFA is going to take an active role in 2013 in going out and saying, this is what we want. This is what fleet managers want from legislation and forming coalitions of like-minded fleet groups. So working with other organizations, whether they're nonprofit, for-profit, whether they're based upon a certain specific fuel or type or whatever it might be, getting all of those people together in a room and saying, this is what we want. This is, this is the consensus agreement from all of these groups about what fleet managers want, and then going delivering that to Capitol Hill and saying, this is what, this is what fleet managers want on a proactive role. That's a lot to do. That's a lot of work. But knowing that, that we have those people behind us. We've got thousands of fleet managers behind us. We've got thousands of, hundreds of thousands of vehicles behind us, millions of dollars of assets behind us that drive this country. I mean, when you're talking about fleet managers who control a third of the sales from Ford, GM, and Chrysler every year, that's a lot of clout that we can bring to Capitol Hill. It's a lot of business that, we can, that, that, that is impacted in the United States and in Canada based on that. So we want to bring that to Washington and say, look, not from a, not from a, forceful point of, of demanding things, but hey, when you're thinking about legislation, this is the impact that it really has. We're all for green things. We're all for making, making the environment safer and making the environment better. But let's do it on a realistic basis, and, and let's do that on a proactive basis rather than a reactive basis.